Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to take these DVDs and put it into your tablet. Now I gotta go get the duct tape. Okay, seems like we are out of duct tape. So how are we gonna put the DVDs into our tablets or cell phones? Well, we're gonna need to use a program called Handbrake to rip the DVD movie out of DVD and then convert it into a computer file. Now, Handbrake is a real nice piece of software that is free to use, free to download, and it lets you not only copy the DVD and convert it into a format that is universally usable on many devices, but it also convert it quite efficiently. And um, one good thing about Handbrake is that a lot of times when we record, you know, video, it would come out with these huge, uh, huge capacity. I mean, like a 20 minute video could be as big as a gig and a half to two gigs, depending on the settings that you have it set up to. But Handbrake let you convert it not only to a very small size but it gives you the ability to keep the quality of it so it doesn't affect the quality and it makes your file a lot smaller it's that way when you upload it to YouTube it's quick it's easy it doesn't take a whole half hour to upload it could be done in just a few minutes so that's one good thing about Handbrake as well as being that handbrake able to let you, you know, to uh, extract the movie from the DVD and then let you convert it into a file format that could be used. So, now if you're interested in seeing how to use handbrake to, um, to shrink your, you know, your video files to make them smaller for faster uploads, to YouTube, just uh, let me know in the comments, or and uh, I will make a follow-up video on how to do that at a later date. So let's first install Handbrake. So let's go to their website. Now I have their website already open, and their website is Handbrake.fr, and at this site is where you could download it uh, for free. I mean, it comes in a lot of different flavors. You know, it comes for Mac OS. You know, you could even download it for Windows 7 if you don't have Windows 10. And you can also put it, you know, install it for, you know, Linux and stuff. So, Mine is a Windows machine, so I'm going to definitely download it for Windows, and it's a 64-bit machine, so it's, this is the, the right version for it. So we would just click on this to download it, and we would just save it. Uh, once it's done downloading, we would just run it. Let's see, it's done downloading. So, we will just open the file. It will ask you permission to install this program on your Windows machine. You will say yes. And then, you will just hit next. You will set uh, to agree to the um, agreement and install in the default location. And bam, it's done. Easy as pie. 
Now that you have it installed, which is right here, I already have a DVD in the drive right now. So let's run it. Now I have a DVD or Blu-ray, so you could actually, you know, uh, rip off of Blu-ray this also if you have Blu-ray. But I'm gonna just be doing DVDs. Now, granted, these are DVDs that you own, so you're not really doing anything illegal with them. You're just backing them up just in case your original get damaged. You could always you know have a copy of the movie and besides nowadays a lot of people uh, rarely watch their movies just just in the living room I mean there's people that just won't want to watch it when they're on the go or they just want to watch it when they're in bed you know and they have a whole bunch of devices now so this would just make the whole process easier so we would just open this and it would scan the disc and you know make sense of what you know what chapters are on there with the the sound you know the surround sound or the digital you know stereo depending you know it's gonna sort all that information out for you and then you just uh, select the Way you want to uh, rip it or convert it into a file. So, now it, what it is is that a lot of DVDs nowadays, you know, or not even nowadays, but most DVDs have what they call encryption that encrypts the data to prevent from, you know, from privacy from copying uh, the movie. But you know, being that these are DVDs you own. So it's perfectly legal for you to make a, you know, copy of it. So the way we could, you know, bypass this is that we need to uh, go to uh, another website called uh, VLC. Now VLC is another uh, open source project, and it's pretty much an open source player. And it's a really great player. I mean, you could play anything on VLC, you know. So, um, just go to the official site. Don't go to any of the other sites. You have to go to the official site. And the official site is uh, videoland.org, VLC. Now, you could download the player. This player is great for, you know, playing all your uh, Mia, you know, and it's... You know, it it pretty much play any format. It's it's a really uh, great player to use. Now you would download a library called uh, Lib DVD CSS. Now all this mumbo jumbo, you really don't really need to, you know, understand it. You just want to go to the release. And what you're looking for is version 1.2.12. Now, here's where you're gonna download it. It's you either gonna is you're pretty much gonna just download a a DLL that you're gonna put in your handbrake directory. So now my version of Windows is a 64 bit, so you would select Windows 64. But if you have a 32 bit window, you would get the 32 bit window. Or if you have a Mac OS, you would just select the you know the Mac OS one. But I'm just gonna take the Windows 64, and this is the DLL you want to download. So we're gonna just save this link. We gotta save it to our desktop so it'd be easier to copy. We could just close this now. Okay, now let's uh, copy this library file. Now you will go to the directory where Lamb 
handbrake is installed so you will go to your C drive program files and handbrake now and you just paste it in here and say you want permission to do that you just say continue yeah so now that is done close it now let's open the DVD and scan again Okay, now that it's done scanning, here's where it shows uh, the title. Usually the default would be the longest uh, track on the DVD, and um, so that's usually the default. So uh, as you see, there's also a lot of other things on the DVD. You got other tracks that are in different languages and they may be uh, split by chapters here and a whole bunch of other stuff but usually the default will be the main one so you just leave it at that and over here you could actually uh, extract uh, you know just per chapter if you want so if you say you want to just extract one chapter of the movie you could do that or if you want to just do it like half of the movie you could do it like one to ten but we're gonna do the whole movie so now all these presets here is I mean if we could go through a tutorial it would take maybe a whole hour so we're not gonna be doing that but here's some preset settings that would uh, that you could set to configure all these uh, settings for you so for instance if you want to uh, let's just say you are uh, want to extract the DVD to be played on a certain device you know like you may want it to be played on your Apple TV so you would select you know what are these presets or if you want it to be played on your Fire TV, you could select this preset, PlayStation, uh, or your Roku sticks, you know, or, you know, Windows Phone, you know, Xbox, you know, there's a whole bunch of devices you could, you know, uh, tailor to, um, to encode the file to be saved. So, uh, I have a tablet and, um, and it's a very low-end tablet, so I gotta just select, you know, Android 480p at 30 frames per second. So that would be uh, sufficient for me uh, to watch uh, this movie on my tablet because, you know, my tablet is a low-end. No use of, you know, making such a high-end file to be played on a tablet because if your device you know it's it could play but it could not play because you know there could be problems so you usually want to uh, tailor to uh, the file to depending on what device you want to play it to so anyway uh, now we're gonna just uh, set the file name so over here we would call uh, let's just call this uh, Avengers uh, Android version would be a good name. And just hit uh, encode and we'll go through the encode process. Now this usually uh, takes, you know, depending on, you know, uh, what type of file you're going to be, uh, you know, encoding and, you know, how fast your computer 
and what type of DVD is a DVD or Blu-ray it could you know range from an hour to from a half hour to an hour to even an hour and a half depending on all these factors so let's uh, wait until it finish so uh, at the meantime you go relax you know have a drink you know take it easy and uh, we come back when it's done okay now it finished let's check the file out see it's now burned so there you go that's how you take your DVDs and uh, back it up to your computer and now you could take these files which is about 1.2 gigs you could copy this onto your tablet onto your cell phone and you can enjoy your movies on the go all right that concludes the end of our video everybody have a nice day and you know subscribe to uh, follow up on upcoming videos uh, and um, hit the notification buttons to uh, stay informed with uh, new videos that I'm going to be releasing out so um, everybody have a nice day and I uh, talk to you in the next video bye